it's time to kill some Lemoyne Raiders. Bop, bop. As we hop into part 30 of our Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. We've done a lot of story chapters uh, in chapter three, which is the one that we're on right now. I imagine it will be concluding uh, fairly soon. Uh, obviously, tensions between ourselves and the Greys, ourselves and the Braithwaites, and the Braithwaites and the Greys. Um, it's grown exponentially. There's uh, extremely high tensions. Uh, right now, pretty much an all-out war uh, taking place. Pretty sure I'm still way up where I left off, like by the trapper, like in the northeast portion, close to the Annisburg area, which is a place that I have not been to yet. Yeah, way up here by the trapper. Just the one Dutch mission. I have to head back to camp. I am wanted in the Rhodes area because of what happened with the Greys. So, I'm going to want to make sure that I steer clear of all of the roads around there. I don't want to be getting shot at. Um, we should try and catch this legendary fish as a, as a side thing to do. That's what we should do. Maybe try and go fishing in our boat that we have. Just kind of paddle down river a little bit, check out this area, see if we can find some clues. I imagine that the legendary fish work similar to the legendary animals. So that's a little bit of a side thing that we can do. That would help with this mission here. Still haven't found any dinosaur bones. Still haven't found any full cigarette card sets. It's all side stuff. It's 3.30 in the morning. Unfortunately, when I get to camp, there probably won't be any stew ready. Jesus. So we might have to sleep until until it is. Hopefully, this Dutch mission won't activate the minute we get back to camp. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a long ride here for us, though, too. So. We'll, uh... I have no, I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Should probably make sure I have the right weapons ready in case something goes down here. I have a tendency to get shot at, let's say. We're gonna go bolt action and lane casting. Yeah. The thing about nighttime is obviously there's going to be a lot of nocturnal animals out, typically the more dangerous kind. We've got a little situation up here. Let's see what's up. How you doing? Sorry. Get lost! <laughs> you act tough, but you're really just a mouse, huh? Fine. You hear me? Get out now. All right, simmer down. You want to die today, friend? Shut up. You're about to fight. The real thing. 
Jesus. I didn't realize that I already had my uh, gun equipped when I was sitting on my horse, so I accidentally pointed it at him. I had it in my hands. He didn't like that very much. Come on, girl. So I never ended up selling these pelts to the trapper. You're okay, girl. Sorry, girl. Yeah. Um, probably best to just give it to Pearson. Or uh, hold on to them even. I'm just not sure where I can store them. I don't want to keep them on Epona because if I die, they'll disappear. a wolf or something. Or some type of small fox. The roads are clear this early in the morning. You can see the sun starting to rise. The world is starting to get a little bit lighter. It's a bad dynamic lighting and weather working at its best. I missed my turn. I guess I don't really have official bounties. There's no bounty for me in roads. It's just kind of like a restricted area. There's just a post office here on the way. Whoops. This looks like Emerald Branch. It is Emerald Branch. Never really found out the history of this place. A lot of people talked about it that I encountered. From the area. Another thing I should be doing is checking my map regularly for stranger missions because we've seen their tendency to pop up randomly and disappear randomly. Help me! Help me! I've been kidnapped! Stay back! This here's official business! Jesus! Anyone! Help! Should I help the guy? I feel like I should maybe help the guy. Okay. Here goes nothing. I ain't never touched her. Hopefully this is not a bad person. You're after me too! I know it! I know it! Uh, yep, he's a crazy person. Should maybe try some target practice on him with the tomahawk or the throwing knives? We'll do throwing knives. Haven't really used them a lot. Good chance. He got away. Smart guy. Oh well. I was never a fan of Lawman anyways. I should have loot I should loot the bodies, but don't also want to be seen looting said bodies. Ah, oh, buck sixty. Some ammo. Ooh, a health care too. That's all I need. Ah. Gotta do some evil things, can't all be good. Yeah. 
feel like I'm getting back into Lemoyne territory now. Ride free Pona. You can see the stamina starting to drain. It's like about halfway. Now, a little bit later in the morning, 7 14 a.m., you can see a little yeah. bit more traffic on the roads. I'm getting up to go to town. Okay, Pona, I'll feed you and brush you when we get back. Let you rest for a little bit. Until I get these pelts off or I can take another horse out. She's giving about all she's got, and now it's starting to rain. It's like a heck of a storm, too. Agreed on. Good man. Well, you keep on doing what you do best. Desperate for enemies. Don't need more guns in the hands of those fools. Looked like some kind of a transaction going down between the Lemoyne Raiders and an innocent party. Probably kind of forced his hand. Whatever was on the the wagon, it blew up after shooting that second guy in the head, and subsequently blew all of them up. We got some money and a potent health cure on him. This is the innocent guy, I believe. Fuck ninety six. Silver pocket watch. Oh shit! Now we got a witness. I gotta take this witness out. Son of a gun. I gotta I gotta go right now. This is too close to camp. I gotta run. Go 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 go. Into the forest. Come here, girl. Okay, girl. Here. Killing that witness did not buy me a lot of time. That was so freaking close to our camp, too. Not really a great idea, but I just want to burn the Lemoyne Raiders however I can. Oh. Can't freaking stand them. Okay, then. What's up, Charles? <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't create a bounty. Oh, of course it creates a bounty. 15 buck bounty on me now in the moin. Lovely. Should still be able to do the missions and whatnot though. Yeah. 
slow up now. Ah, home sweet home. So much for that rain, too. Relax. Won't let me talk to uh, uh, Mike. Oh, something's going on with Dutch. But we have everybody looking for him, and we are going to find his boy. I really just want to give those pelts. Oh, somebody's missing. I bet you it's Jack. I just want to try and get rid of those pelts Everybody quick first. Right no, I can't. I gotta do this Dutch mission first. Damn it. Alright, let's do it. What's up? Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Oh. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. But Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. Oh let's Jesus go get Christ. That boy back. It's a lot of guns. Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Christ, Sean gets his head blown off and now Jack, John Marston's son, goes missing. Oh, I don't know if it was a good idea to bring John along. We are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Now, Jack, we should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. I have to figure out my weapon situation really quick here and what might be best to take with me. I don't think I need a scoped weapon, so I think we're going to go with the most powerful rifle, which is probably the bolt action. Uh, no scope. 
So that's good. And maybe a shotgun with us. This is their manor, so we'll probably be uh, close range killing uh, inside. So we'll do... We will do the pump action shotgun, more capacity. Um, and I will take some tomahawks with me. For pistols, we will do... I'm going to do my two Schofields. Arthur, Arthur, we can't do this without you. I'm coming. Arthur, are you coming or what? We don't have all day. I'm coming. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. This is epic. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged, or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... time I tried to push over to cover it wouldn't let me hopefully the checkpoint will uh, start me off right there again damn that escalated quickly
Shit! John! Arson! Hold them down here! We got more coming in! Arson, get out of there! We got this door covered! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about down? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? Jesus Christ. What a scene. And so now we've had a firefight with both the Greys and the Braithwaite, so... <laughs> uh, yikes. Uh, we probably no longer want our camp to be in this area, or it's going to be coming to that point pretty darn soon, because we are not liked. Uh, we got to try and uh, leave the manor here with Dutch. I just wanted to see if there's anything, uh, any areas of uh, interest that are pointed out on the map. Uh, I can see there's a weapon to be found, but it looks like it's outside of the building. I tried some of the, th the doors upstairs. Uh, nothing. Hopefully I'm not missing anything like in the bedroom upstairs in terms of uh, valuables. Um... Yeah. You got that one, Arthur? Uh -huh. I guess that's the end of 
the goddamn cribbage game. <laughs> Never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. 
How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot off there. Follow me. I know the way. So this has probably been one of the most important story missions that we've done in a, in a, in a little while. Probably one of the longer ones, too. We're still going from the same Dutch mission. Uh, we have been to Shady Bell before. It's like an abandoned uh, property. Uh, we're going to occupy that now, get even further south, uh, down south of Rhodes. Uh, we'll be a short distance away from St. Denis. Finally, the story, the story is taking us to St. Denis, which is one of the major cities in this game. So uh, the setting is about to change. Uh, just a tad and uh, obviously new camp. So we are progressing fairly quickly here. Saint Denis will be uh, definitely a very interesting place to kind of investigate. There's uh, a theater, uh, or multiple theaters, a photo studio, looks like a couple saloons. There's a trapper in Saint Denis as well, a fence to buy some gold, or to, for him to buy your gold. Everything that some of the other towns and villages have had as well, like a butcher and a general store. Probably with greater selection, though, too. Larger in general, gunsmith, uh, medical office. I'm sure there's more as well, too. So we'll definitely have to take some time uh, and go through St. Denis as well. Uh, probably one of the more intense in, uh, story missions there, burning down the Braithwaite Totes. Uh, we're no longer just uh, killing people's uh, source of income like we did with the tobacco fields. We're killing actual people. And uh, it's been quite a, a bloodbath between the Greys and the Braithwaites now. And uh, it's kind of overflowed now. Um, we got to get out of Dodge. Now the Pinkertons detective agency is still coming after us. And they're hot on our heels. So we're getting out for that reason and obviously to... Uh, Get further away from the Greys and the Braithwaites, a little bit closer to St. Denis. Lots of reasons for us to get out of here and quick. So I'll have to wait until we set up our new camp before I do some of the uh, little things like eat and sleep and sell these pelts and stuff. All of this is happening so quickly here. We're going to go to Shady Bell, scout the area, move everybody here, and then go and save Jack as well in St. Denis, which will be a major mission. Uh, or maybe that will be the central premise of Chapter 4. Leave me alone for once. This will be a good chance for uh, Jack and I to have some one-on-one, -on -one, or John and I rather, to have some one-on-one -on -one time. After all it's this uh, all right, stuff John. is happening, of course. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milne comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? 
We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. Or you'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. Kind of awkward riding past the Braithwaite Manor here. You can see the uh, black smoke still rising in the distance from the manor that we burned down the previous evening. <laughs> it was cool to see everybody stand up for Dutch when the detectives uh, were trying that to take him away. Man. Everybody kind of stepped forward. It was Who cool to see that. Life? He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now, and this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. Soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Lenny found it. Big old run-down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but we sent them on their way. Probably moved on to one of their other hideouts, what's left of them. where we got that dynamite for the bank job. Show me any trouble. Oh, okay, I was gonna say I don't remember that one that well. Clear. Now, where have I heard that before? Alright. Should be just down this path to the left here. It is kind of hard to hear somebody like John Marston doubting the gang, though, and starting to get these doubts in his head about, oh, Dutch this and Dutch that, and we'll, we'll get out of it, and you're starting to see some breaks in the group, and not a good thing, but it is also very cool to see that we still get a build on John Marston's character. You know, we built a relationship with him from playing the first game, and going through all of those events with him, we went through some pretty major stuff with John Marston, and uh, we're still building on this John That's Marston it, character, even though we're not playing the John Marston character. We get to see him younger. You ain't seen Things from the first game start to make a bit more sense. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. Alright, let's leave the horses here and take a look. There's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. In you get 
the message last time? Anymore, you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? We'll find out who put you up to this. Come out with your hands up! You can still walk out of here! Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you! You're the one hiding, not me! This fight will be your last! I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight We'll live on. Jesus. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Damn, viewer discretion is obviously advised. Just put a hole in his head with a cattleman revolver. best believe I'm looting him. I'm going to... Oh, a gold nugget. Speaking of gold, I can sell that uh, even at a general store, maybe when we go into Saint Denis. The one thing about this whole situation with the Grace and the Braithwaites is now we can no longer attempt to rob them. Everything kind of progressed too quickly and we kind of lost our ability. Can't loot this headless guy. I made a couple of them headless. He still has blood pouring out from his head. I was just gonna try and really look around the area a bit. Make sure we're not missing anything. So we'll have to clear some bodies, clean some blood, but for the most part, it's not a bad residence. Here. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. I don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. This is gonna remind me a lot of uh, Mafia 3 being in the swamp, being in the bayou, New Orleans kind of area. That's what Saint Denis is supposed to kind of replicate more or less. So 
This will be a much, in, uh, uh, sorry, a very interesting chapter, I think. Uh, spending some time in Saint in Saint Denis. He's saying uh, the Gators will just okay. get the bodies. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guy in the men. All right, see you soon. I hope. Just wanted to see if we actually get to see the all the alligators coming. Take the bodies. Oh my god, you can see one right over there. Ew. There's going to be some much different uh, wildlife. A lasso. A lasso. A lasso. Whatever however the hell you say it. I can't even speak. I should totally kill a gator and we can roast it for our first dinner at this camp. You gotta be kidding me. Not a chance. So everybody in the house, they're all, all of the bodies left in the house are, are uh, upstairs right now. We have to dump all of them into the swamp. So one by one, I'll bring them downstairs. Jesus. One by one, I'll bring them downstairs and pile them just in the foyer area. And then we'll take them one by one outside. A couple of these bodies are gross because they're headless. This is one of the headless ones. I was using my pump action. And literally blew their skulls off their necks. Okay. So we actually have to take the body all the way to the swamp before we can drop it and pick up another one. Probably a couple less bodies in the swamp already. I just heard what sounded like a gator. Oh no. Fine living. Nor the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Wow, Dutch is gonna turn down Molly. Interesting. All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. OK. 
Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4, Saint-Denis. So we're going to get a trophy. This was a pretty major mission that we just did. Okay, so... Uh, uh, the immediate thing that we're doing right now is uh, we're kind of investigating the whole uh, John Marston's son going missing thing. Jack, uh, going missing thing. Uh, that's Jack, and that's also Abigail's son because John Marston and Abigail are together. Um, our camp has been reset up back here, but there's not a whole lot going on in camp right now. You can see only the one icon because our main focus is on uh, Saint Denis. So I'm pretty much gonna stay in Saint Denis. I will sleep here in Saint Denis for the time being. Um, you know, there's a bounty poster. There's multiple things that I have to take care of in Saint Denis at this time. So this is where I want to be. We can go up and get some new clothes at the tailor with some of the money that we have. We can check out some of the shows. I've heard they're more sophisticated than, say, that one light show that we saw in Valentine way back at the beginning of the game. Uh, like I said, bounty posters. We could do some shopping. I'm sure that there's different things here in Saint Denis than there would be in other places. We have a bounty to pay off. There's a new newspaper to read for the town uh, we might be able to sell that legendary hide to the butcher just so that I can get rid of it basically uh, we're just gonna go through the town through some of the streets of the town visit most if not all of the icons you can see that we're gonna be asking around in both of the saloons uh, for this Angelo Bronte to find Jack supposedly the Braithwaite sons gave a Jack to this Angelo Bronte character haven't heard of him before uh, we have a photo studio. I'm just going to try and go where I can. Hopefully there will be some place to stay. If there's not some sort of a hotel or something, I can always go to um, just outside of the city and uh, set up a camp somewhere just so that I can have a quick bite. Uh, but this is going to be our main focus right now is St. Denis. We are staying in St. Denis for the time being. I'm going to go to as many of these icons as I can. We can see some of them are locked. That will probably change as I start going through. Um, and we'll probably, we'll probably end up blowing the entire $800 lot that we have in our wallet right now. Would not surprise me. Um, so yeah, we'll have some main story missions with the Angelo Bronte stuff uh, and, the and the bounty poster as kind of a side mission that we're going to do. And then we'll just be doing some general walking or riding around town, uh, going to some of these different places. So this, I feel, is a good place to stop uh, part 30 for the time being so that next time when we start... Next time is going to be all about Saint Denis, and that is going to be another major, major uh, part that you, you obviously don't want to miss because we have been talking about Saint Denis and rumoring about eventually going to Saint Denis, and then I started to think, hey, maybe the story will not take us to Saint Denis. Maybe it is literally just an entirely kind of free roam sandbox uh, city. Uh, that's just kind of there in the backdrop. No, no, we are in Saint Denis. We are investigating Saint Denis. Much different, completely different than any other place that we've been on the map to this point. So a lot of exciting things to look forward to. I've seen uh, just little bits and pieces of uh, like the show and other things in Saint Denis, and I'm just, I, I can't believe it's like. Uh, a completely different country that we just came into here now that we're in Saint Denis. So this ought to be interesting. You're all right, 
New horses are available to purchase in the Scarlet Meadows and St. Denis Stables. The St. Denis Stables are right next to me, so there's another thing that we can do when we start. We can think about maybe buying a new horse. Uh, we might have to get rid of one of the other horses, like Morgan, for example, in order to do that, but definitely uh, something that we can look at doing. Um, a barber, so I think you can actually change your hairstyle aside from just a lot of interesting things that we have not seen yet in this game. A lot of interesting things like the photo studio and and stuff like that. So this is going to be quite an interesting ride through of Saint Denis, and I'm hoping that I can just make that one entire part, make part 31 completely uh, cover everything in Saint Denis in that one part. I am can't wait just talking about it right now i'm super excited that we're finally freaking here i've seen some red dead online gameplay in i don't know if it was saint denis but it was a bigger city and just a completely different setting to be in and pretty much nothing like we've ever seen in a red dead game before because you know at the beginning i, I was getting confused thinking that red dead the first red dead actually take place took place before the second Red Dead, uh, just because like the towns and stuff seemed less, but obviously it was just kind of a graphical thing. Obviously it's a much older game, um, much different time that it was made in, um, but we have not seen anything like this city uh, in a Red Dead Redemption game before, so lots of excitement in the next vid. You can see we did 44.2, we're up to 44.2% now, so we did about 0.6 percent which is not bad for playing for an hour and two minutes it's not really uh that bad of a progression and that was basically one story mission we did the dutch vanderlyn mission the very last mission of chapter three damn like comment subscribe and i will see you on the other side